What's up, guys? It is Jack and special guest Gus. Say hi, Gus. I'm really scared. <laughs> hey, we're doing chapters one and two of Hidden Items Inside of Dead Space 2. So uh, this is the very first chapter. This is once you get into that room with the uh, the crazy light, like, pops up, or the, the screen pops up. And once you go that way, but instead of going left, we're going to turn around and go right. That's sort of the general don't, rule about hidden items. Don't, don't do it. It's scary over there. It's dark. <laughs> I'm glad it's not nighttime when we're doing this. We're, we're in like a mental hospital at night. Oh, fuck, yeah. dude, that's even worse. <laughs> so here we are a little bit further on. Um, it's one of those things here, like, I checked my little, my guide. It's like, all right, go right. And I'm like, yeah, nope, yeah. screw you. I'm going to go left. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not a guide for hidden stuff. What? Oh, the thing on the ground? Yeah. No, no, no. That's the, that's the guide of just straightforward, just play the game. That's the try to live guide, and you're, you're, doing, <laughs> you're going the exact opposite yeah. of the try to live way. Yeah, all right, so uh, this is after the, uh, the gate shuts and Strauss kind of leaves you there. Or patient four or whatever, and then uh, you have to fight on your own, and then after you, they unlock the doors, right here on the side is another log. And I also want to point out, the achievement is for 100 hidden logs, or 100 logs total. There's actually well more than 100, but I'm just showing you where they all are, because I'm a completionist like that. Oh, wow. So, this is the stasis area on the ground here, uh, is the Heisenberg one, and that one's fun. I like Heisenberg. I'm uncertain about it. <laughs> nah, the Heisenberg principle? <laughs> well done. All right, so uh, across from the uh, the balloons on this desk on the on the ground here, a little bit further on, is the one on our floor. That's cool. And is, then is uh, that another one behind it? No, that's actually a power node. Those oh, are okay. very important too. So right where we were, now instead of going left, we're going to go right. Now I want to point this out. This is a conduit room where this next log is. These conduit rooms only unlock if you play Dead Space Ignition, which is the Xbox Live arcade game. Oh wow! So those won't be there unless you actually play Ignition. There's four of these rooms in the game. There's a bunch of hidden stuff in there. There's a power nodes, an audio log, and a bunch of other things. So, so stuff you don't need, but stuff that's helpful. Exactly, exactly. And I don't know how it works on the PS3, but um. Anyway, <laughs> so that's for Xbox Live Arcade at least. So here we are in Chapter 2, and our first one is going to be right in front of us right when we get into Chapter 2 on the ground. It's cut off their limbs, which Gross. You, should, you should know that by now, right? Gross. Shoot you know, the head. <laughs> so uh, just outside that room down the long walkway is a power node locked room. This is another thing you should keep in mind. You should always have one power node on you at all times just in case you find a room like this because there's a bunch of hidden stuff in there. We're going to get a schematic that will actually uh, let us buy power nodes. Great. So you could, the, the, the cycle completes itself. <laughs> yeah. And we're also going to get a log in here, too. This is the quarterly, quarterly report. Quarterly report. That sounds boring. Yeah. Well, you know, they still have to do reports in yeah, space. Space Wall Street. <laughs> the, the space investors are upset. This space quarter. <laughs> this space quarter is down. All right. This is another one of those things where it tells you to go in the elevator. Instead, just keep going down a little bit further. This is in the uh, the apartment complex area. That one's easy to spot. Those, those things glow. So this is another one of these conduit room things I was telling you about earlier. So this one actually has uh, some pretty cool stuff in it because this one actually has the hacker suit. Oh, which cool. um, you can only get, again, you have to play Ignition to get it, but the hacker suit actually allows you to, oh, and there's the hampered log in there too, but the hacker suit uh, requires one less step when you are doing hacks on stuff. Very so helpful. instead of three, it's only two, so that's pretty neat. I used that one until I got the vintage suit later on. And then last one for the, this one is uh, the stasis pack, which is on the tracks where the flaming train blows by. <laughs> Normally, you never get on the tracks. That's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, now the third rail is a bitch. But, all right, so if you uh, see, if we miss something, send it to tips at achievement.com. We're still going through and collecting the logs, so let us know. Thanks.